Hey, our friends are going to be drawing a bird. Yeah, what kind of bird? A parrot. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. We're also going to use a pencil. Yeah, a pencil. You need your paper and, and something to color with. Something to color with. All right, let's start. Yes. Okay, let's first draw the body to our parrot. I'm going to draw an oval shape like that. It's a tall oval. And I'm also drawing it. I'm going to go over it a couple times, but you could just do one. That's uh, so they can see it. Now, we're drawing it a little bit at an angle also, since it's perched on it on a little tree branch. Nice job. Now let's draw a circle at the top. We're going to draw it a little off to the side. I'll draw it a little darker. Nice. Now right here at the top, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to the back of the oval. Let's also draw the branch that our pair is perched on. We're going to draw it right down here at the bottom of the oval. So we can draw one line coming across just at the bottom of the oval. And then we can draw another line right below that for the bottom of the branch. Cool. Now let's put our pencil down and we're going to switch to our markers. Let's first draw the eye of our bird. We're going to draw a oval shape. And I've drawn it towards the top of the circle. Now we can also kind of color that in. I'm going to leave a little white spot for the highlight. And then we can also draw another oval that comes around the outside like that. Next, let's draw the beak. We're going to draw a curve that starts at the top of the circle and we're going to come down to the bottom. It's kind of looking funny, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to draw the center of our beak. We're going to draw a curve that's right here, and it's going to come forward and down. Now we're going to draw the top of our beak. We're going to start up here, and we're going to curve down and connect to the bottom. And then we can draw the bottom of the beak. We're going to draw another curve like that. Now it's starting to look like a parrot. Yeah. Now we could draw the top of our parrot's head. We're going to start here. And we're going to draw the curve. We're going to go over the pencil line, come down, and then we'll stop right before we get into the oval shape. Good. Then we can draw the bottom of the head. We'll just draw a little curve that comes in, and then we're going to stop. We don't, you don't have to go all the way and trace over the circle. This is just for the bottom of the head. Now we're going to draw the belly. We'll start here, and we're going to trace over the oval shape. And we'll stop right, right before we get to the branch. Now let's draw the talons. We're going to draw a curved W. We're going to curve down like this, back up, back down, and then back up. Then we can draw the top of the talons. We'll draw two little bumps like that. And then we can draw the bottom of the talon. Okay, let's repeat that same step, and we're going to draw another foot. We'll draw a curve W, and then we're going to draw the bumps on top, and the bump on the bottom. Okay, now right here, I'm going to connect the belly into the talon. You, yeah. You're already there, so that's okay. Now we need to add the wings. Let's first draw the wing on the back side of our parrot. We're going to draw another curve that comes out and then back in. We're going to draw that same line right here to match for the wing that's over here. We're going to curve down and then we'll connect it into the branch. Yeah, let's draw the branch next. And we can use the pencil guidelines and just trace over the top part of the branch all the way over to the other side and also in between the talons. Now we can do the same thing for the bottom of the branch. We'll trace over those guidelines, the pencil lines. And we did it. We got our nice little branch that our, our bird is perched on. Yeah. Now let's draw the back of our wing. We're going to draw a little bump that comes out past the oval. We're going to come down and then connect to the branch. 
Then let's also imagine the wing coming behind the branch and curving down further and then connecting back up. See how it looks like the letter V, but it continues and connects to the wing. Now let's draw the tail and parrot tails are super long. So we're gonna go off the paper, draw a curve going all the way down. We can stop before you get to the end. And then we'll come over here and let's do the same line and come down further. All right, let's add more details to our parrot's head. We're gonna first add a little nostril. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes over our parrot's eye. We're gonna come around like this and then we're gonna connect down to the bottom. Yeah. Now we can also add little texture lines right here. I'm gonna draw two texture lines or two little curves. And then we can add some curves underneath the eye too. Now let's add some of the feathers. We're gonna draw U shapes that are connected together. And we can also add those little U shapes over here on this wing. Then we're gonna add longer feathers right here. So I'm gonna draw a big long U and then we'll keep drawing those U's connected all the way back to the end of the wing. And then down here at the bottom, we can finish the feathers on the wing by just drawing straight lines that come across. There you go. We could even add, maybe there's a, some feathers down here. I'm gonna add lines on this side too. Let's add feathers on the tail. I'm gonna draw those same U shapes that we did up here. Maybe they're a little longer too. All the way across. Then we can add longer feathers. Now if we ever go too fast, you guys at home can pause the video if you need extra time. And then the feathers at the very bottom, I'm gonna draw really long. We're just gonna draw straight lines that come off the page. All right, Jack, we did it. Let's switch to our pencil and we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines that you can still see, the guidelines. Now we're ready for the last step. Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our parrots. Yours looks awesome. Good job. Thank you. Now you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. We used our biannual markers, but you could use whatever you have at home. Now, if you have the same set of biannual markers, we use R107, that's our red, that's the main red color. And then the shading we used uh, R126, R126. The main blue color is B205. We use some shading blue, a darker blue, B016 for that. And then our yellow color is Y107. The beak and the face color, we use Y611. It's kind of a light tan color. But I don't think we're done. We, sh we should add more to our drawing. Yes, a background. Yeah, definitely. Let's fast forward one more time and finish our drawings with a background. Give me five. I love your background. I think it completes our drawing. Yeah, it does. And we just used two greens. We used our G406 and also our dark green G335. I think it looks really tropical now. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can change your drawings any way you want. Yes, that would be really cool to change your drawings. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your parrots. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.